Good morning. Today we are reading Luke chapter 22. You know, this is a really long chapter, the 71 verses. It covers a number of the key events that took place and eventually led to Jesus on the cross. The events include Jesus being betrayed by Judas, the Last Supper, Jesus praying on the Mount of Olives, his arrest, Peter disowning Jesus, and finally, Jesus standing in front of Pilate. You know, this is definitely what you would call an action-packed chapter. But throughout the whole chapter, there seems to be a thread. And it is this, the ability of the disciples, whether individually or collectively, to somehow get it so badly wrong. You know, they were taught by the greatest teacher. They were led by the greatest leader. And yet they still made mistakes. And some of them with huge consequences. You know, in Judas, we have a man who allowed greed and money to destroy him. And ultimately, using a sign of love and affection, gave Jesus up for a bag of coins. At the meal where Jesus was trying to explain to disciples what was going to happen over the next few days and what it would mean, not just for that period of time, but for eternity. But instead of listening and understanding to Jesus and his words, they are more interested in arguing which one of them was the greatest. On the Mount of Olives, while Jesus was wrestling with the steps that he would walk, the disciples couldn't even stay awake and pray and support him even though Jesus asked them to do so. And finally, Peter, who became a great man of God, failed miserably when he was asked if he knew Jesus three times. You know, even though Jesus told him what was going to happen, he still was unable to stand up and be counted. You know, just like these disciples, we can easily make mistakes. We too can get things terribly wrong. How often can we put others in front of our Christian walk or other things in front of our Christian walk and take our eyes off Jesus? We too can sometimes think that we are so important and we fail to realise that as followers of Jesus, we are called to serve. We certainly can forget sometimes just to do the basics of praying and doing what we know God wants us to do. And I know that I have failed many times to take up the opportunities to speak about him. But let me encourage you today. God can use your failures, your mistakes and your bad decisions for his glory. Sometimes we need to fail in order to grow as Christians. The disciples that talked about who was the greatest went on to spread the good news across the whole world. Peter became an apostle of God and ultimately lost his life for preaching the good news. Don't let your past mistakes stop you from becoming the man or woman that God wants you to be. If you failed yesterday, then let me encourage you today. Dust yourself off. Put right what you did or what you failed to do and walk boldly into what God has for you today. Let me read this verse to you and it's from 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 13. He says this, but in keeping with his promise, we are looking forward to a new heaven and a new earth where righteousness dwells. Have a good day today.